Now to a story that you'll see only on Five on Your Side. A lawsuit accusing city prosecutors of failing to destroy evidence for nearly 7,000 drug cases. New at 10, Five on Your Side's Christine Byers is digging into the case. Christine, why is this case now gone to court? Brent, the St. Louis Police Department says the circuit attorney's office has not signed off on destruction orders and now it's taking prosecutors to court because the evidence locker is reaching maximum capacity. In a petition filed October 5th, the city councilor's office, which is representing the police department, writes some of the controlled substances in the vault can easily grow mold and therefore pose a health risk. The petition says the police department reviewed the cases in question with federal prosecutors and gave Gardner's office the same opportunity. It says the lab needs to create space to make way for new drug evidence as it comes in. In response, Gardner's office says it needs six months to review the cases. Gardner's office sent a statement to Five on Your Side just 30 minutes ago saying it's already found open cases among the thousands cited by the department. Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner's office's statement says in order for justice to be served, the circuit attorney needs to ensure evidence necessary for cases that remain open or have a possibility of appeal is not destroyed. The mayor's office says it had no comment for this story and the circuit attorney's office says it doesn't believe this is a lawsuit. Meanwhile, the city councilor's office has given the judge two options. Order Kim's, Kim Gardner's office to sign off on the destruction orders or send the evidence to Gardner's office and the St. Louis City Sheriff's Department. A hearing on the matter is scheduled for Monday.